Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about a new potential speedster that is coming to the show. Also, we've got some updates about Grant sticking around on the show and what the CW is offering. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. This is coming from a credible source, however things can change as you guys know, obviously things aren't set in stone and arrangements and ideas can be totally changed in an instant. So take it with a grain of salt, however this is what I'm hearing right now, so let's go ahead and get into this. So who is this new speedster? Well. Recently, DC Comics just introduced a new Flash to the comics, and this person debuted roughly at the same time as Wonder Girl. So Wonder Girl is the new superhero, obviously a new version of Wonder Woman, and she was supposed to have a TV show on the CW, and so that was even before the comic came out where Wonder Girl actually showed up for the first time as Wonder Woman in the future. So we would have been seeing that character on the Wonder Girl TV show on the CW. However, as you guys know, if you follow my channel, I made a video a while ago that the show isn't actually going ahead because the CW passed on it, which is very sad. However, the reason I bring this up is this kind of takes precedent because this character was introduced at the same time. So introduced just before DC's Future State event, Jess Quick, DC's new speedster, was introduced in DC's Very Merry Multiverse and that was a comic book that was like a one shot that came out around December time and they appear for the first time and I say they because this is DC Comics' first non-binary Flash. So this is something major obviously for the comics and people have been really loving and personally they are one of my favourite new characters and so they were introduced recently. Just like Wonder Girl and on Batwoman you have this completely new character leading the show, that being Ryan Wilder and she was introduced to the comics just recently as well so there is precedent for them showing up. Well, according to this source, there have been conversations in the CW and obviously the people behind the show about bringing in DC's first non-binary speedster, that being Jess Quick, from the comics. And so they would be showing up sometime, I guess, in the next season or the season after. If it's been talked about now, it's probably preparing for the very near future. So obviously not at the end of this season, but presumably going forward into season 8, we may be seeing them for the first time in live action. And like my example with them showing up for the first time as a new character with Wonder Girl and everything, you also have another precedent. The CW is really, really on top of representation in their shows and obviously on Supergirl you got Nia now who is the first trans superhero on screen and they're always pushing for LGBTQ plus representation so I think someone like Jess would be the perfect introduction to the show and also to The Flash because I mean you have Supergirl who has Nia you have you know an LGBTQ lead on Legends of Tomorrow that being Sarah of course and also on Batwoman as well. And you don't really have that same representation on The Flash. Yes, you have Cisco, you have Chester, you have Iris, but none of the team members or the actors on The Flash are LGBTQ people in real life. So, you know, bringing in someone like this would be fantastic. And I really, really do want Jess Chambers to come into the show. I also just realized I think I've been referring to them as Jess Quick, whereas in the comics it's actually Jess Chambers and their superhero name is Kid Quick, so I did like a mishmash of that. But they recently appeared in DC's Future State and they appeared in the Justice League comic and they're coming to the Flash comic very very soon. So if you guys want to catch up on Jess Chambers and everything to do with them, please be sure to go read the comic now because they are fantastic and one of the best new DC Comics characters, so I would be ecstatic to see them actually come to the big screen because I'm really rooting for some of these new characters like I was really wanting Wonder Girl to be a natural show because yes there wasn't much backstory and also the new show Naomi there's literally been only like a couple of runs on Naomi so they went ahead with that and obviously it seems like the CW is open to this and with them having conversations about introducing Jess Chambers to the show I think they're totally open for these new characters and to kind of blend them into their own world and they don't really have much rules with these new characters. They can do anything with them and so obviously Jess Chambers is brand new, a new Flash. Obviously the show loves bringing in new speedsters 
I mean, they're literally doing this at the end of this season with Bart Allen coming in for the first time. We've been waiting for such a long time. And yes, they are kick quick in the comics, that being Jess Chambers, of course. However, they do become the Flash, like the official Flash of the future in Future State Justice League. So it's a bit different and they don't have to be super young like Bart Allen and they can be different. So the CW is considering it and I think it would be a fantastic choice to go ahead with this. Let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think of this? Do you want to see Jess show up as the Flash or like a version of the Flash from another Earth? I think it would be amazing. And also have you read the comics recently? Let me know if you're also a fan of the character. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. So, this is in regards to Grant actually showing up and continuing on The Flash. So, this has been a question that we've been thinking about for a while, right? Like, how long is The Flash going to go on? Supergirl's ending this year, Black Lightning's ending this year. So, I mean, it's only a matter of time before The Flash probably ends. I mean, everything ends, and even with The Flash, like, I don't know how long it's going to be. It's probably going to be a lot longer. However, it's going to end at some point. No show goes on forever. But we know, and we've seen this in an interview with Grant Gustin himself back like at the start of the last lockdown, he said that he wants to go on for at least like eight, nine, ten seasons, I believe he said. I think he said up to nine, and we can presume they probably want to hit season ten. I think the show is likely to go on for at least like two to three more seasons. Obviously, they could continue on from that. They could go supernatural numbers. They could go Smallville numbers. However, there is always the possibility that people want to move on. But now, according to this source, the CW is really, really trying to keep Grant on the show and keep The Flash going. So, it's been confirmed that, yes, behind the scenes, the CW is really working hard to try and keep him around. And I don't think they have to do much, to be honest, because Grant is so passionate about the show. You can see from all his posts and him talking about the show as a whole. I mean, after all, is like the role that made him like a household name for, you know, people in America and some people around the world. And it's pretty predictable that they are going to want this show to go on as long as possible. Obviously, The Flash is the CW's highest rated show. And also, it gets them the most money, right? Because adverts do really well. You have the most amount of viewers out of any CW show. I mean, Riverdale is high, but no show can match what The Flash does for the CW. It just performs so well. And they're going to want it to go on forever and ever and ever as long as they can prolong it. I would presume when The Flash ends, they're probably going to want to do like a Flash spin-off. Obviously, I would be totally down for that. Maybe they're setting up a Bart Allen Flash spin-off. That would be cool. Like I've been saying for a while, I'd love like a Flash Family spin-off where you have like Bart, you would have Jay, you would have Nora show up, and you know, maybe occasionally Grant would show up as the Flash. Obviously, that's like post-Slash, and maybe that's kind of what they're trying to set up with Bart coming. So, introduce the character, you have the possibility to do something with him in the future if they want to do that. And, I mean, same applies for Supergirl, like, there is a possibility they continue with Neo, they continue with Brainy, and they do, like, a Legion show after. That makes sense. However, all of this is just theorizing. But I think for now, we're safe for a couple more seasons, at least up to season 9, and then, possibly on from then, there may be some more negotiating. I don't know how much his new contract is going to go on for. But it's very obvious the CW is going to be like willing to pay absolutely anything because I think they're going to make it back like tenfold. So what do you guys think about that? Are you excited for The Flash to continue? And do you think this is really good news? I think it's great news that they're really, really trying hard to keep Grant back. And, you know, he's definitely going to want to come back. So that's always a good sign. And also, what do you guys think of the new news that they are considering bringing in Jess Chambers, a.k.a. Kid Quick? from the comics and that would mark what I believe would be TV's first non-binary superhero and also a new LGBTQ plus Flash. That would be amazing. Obviously Wally was on the show, however he's not now, that's why I'm saying there is no people of the community. But this would be very groundbreaking and I think the CW would love to introduce a character like Jess. But that's about it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can click here for my latest video on The Flash. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Tell me your thoughts and opinions down below. 
Also subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new and you don't want to miss any daily videos from me. Also remember, Supergirl is on this Tuesday and The Flash is coming back very soon. So you're going to be getting plenty of coverage about everything that's going on and I have lots of videos planned for the next few days. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.